What's going on everybody? How you doing? We are on track two, Rush Snakes and Arrows. This is Armor and Sword. Armor and Sword has an opening rhythm that Peart attributes to the Buddy Rich tune, Mercy, 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 which drummer Dave Weckl had adopted on Peart's tribute album, Burning for Buddy, and on Test for Echo. It features a sample of sheet metal triggered by Peart on his Roland TD-20 kit. The battlefield imagery that had come to appear while writing its lyrics made him recall a line from Dover Beach by English poet Matthew Arnold, which excited him due to its synchronicity. As a tribute, Peart included a different line from the poem into the lyric, confused alarms of struggle and flight. Okay. <laughs> there we have it. All right, let's get to this. Armor and sword. Bam. Sounds great. The snakes and arrows, a child is there to are enough to leave a thousand cuts. We build our defenses, a place of safety, and leave the dark. This section kind of sounds like it could be like Nirvana, like the riff. Like if it were just like a little bit faster and messier, it would be Nirvana. Like all this is like kind of washy, dreamy kind of sound. I like it.
Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's recorded well. Like everything sounds not just recorded well, but like mixed well. Yeah, they did a good job on this. This sounds good. And it's interesting because like there's a lot of layers and a lot of the guitar stuff like 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 Neil is pretty far back, but you still have him. That's that's why I was listening to towards the end of that. I was like, man, Neil is really kind of in the back, but you're still getting loud and clear all of his attacks on all the drums, the toms, all uh, everything. And then there are other parts where he really comes out more, right? Where he's like popping out more. But there was a lot, especially in that like washy section, where he's like way back there because there's that's not the point of that section. The section is like all the like atmosphere and 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 the wash and the sound the soundscape it was all right it was all right it was fine i really liked that wash section i think that i mean after hearing this this made me think about that part that i read in wikipedia see this is one of the reasons why i do it where they said um uh material to that of uh hemispheres with the unexpected angular chord changes this song yeah unexpected angular chord changes that whole yeah yeah, there's like a couple of sections in here where it feels like that, like unexpected angular chord changes. It was all right. It was cool. It was all right. I didn't have the I didn't have the melodic problem that I had the first song, and I did really like that one section, but I'm not going to say this was amazing or this was a sm just as a song, as a song. Right? In terms of me like liking the song as a song and being able to like sing it back to you and and hum along and all that kind of thing i i don't get that yet i don't get any of that kind of thing yet but it was fine you know again this may be a thing of just listening to it more so but it's cool it was cool he hasn't put down the acoustic guitar yet has he right so far this is getting to that interview that i did with Alex where they talk about and he says really a, an acoustic record and I was like whoa 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 there's just a lot of acoustic work and then also reading again that whole David Gilmore thing writing on acoustic guitar that probably also is why there's gonna be so much acoustic on this so interesting cool all right amazing all right up next working them angels I'll catch you in that video later